Hello, my name is Rick Brown and I'm a certified kettlebell trainer here in Southern California. Today, we're gonna show you the basic core kettlebell drills that you need to master if you want kettlebell training to really impact your conditioning. Kettlebells are around 300 years old or ever since mankind had foundries to make iron and steel. This amazing device, people in Eastern European countries have found out was great for strength, great for endurance, for cardio, for conditioning, and especially for athletic training. Nowadays in America, people have caught on to this wave, and that's why you have the DVD today. The advantages of using a kettlebell is that it's not balanced. It's not precision made like an Olympic barbell or a dumbbell. This has an offset center of balance. It tends to pull you back a bit, and to control that, you have to stay tight, you have to stay strong, you have to keep your mind on what you're doing. Overcoming this is a great benefit to your conditioning. It makes you stronger. Even though this kettlebell only weighs 16 kilograms or 35 pounds, it feels a lot heavier. So this benefit can come to you by using kettlebells. The kettlebells we'll be using today are Kaizen kettlebells. Kaizen kettlebells come in all sizes. They have a smooth finish all over them, especially on the handle. And that's very important. When you're doing high repetitions of snatches, the main kettlebell lift, you don't want to get calluses, and traditional kettlebells are notorious for making calluses on your hands, but with Kaizen kettlebells and the mirror smooth finish, this doesn't happen too easily. Also, Kaizen kettlebells have the thickest handle that I've ever seen. Every time you pick one up, you're getting an unreal grip workout for your hands, your fingers, and your forearms just by holding on to this thick handle. One thing that's missing from the Kaizen kettlebell, if you've seen on other kettlebells, is a rubber base on the bottom. Totally unnecessary. The rubber base is annoying, it gets in the way, and almost all the times they wear off, they break off, or they fall off. Keep your kettlebells in a safe place, keep them flat on the ground, you don't need a rubber base. As for safety with a kettlebell, it's best if you train outdoors, on soft ground, in the sand, or dirt, or grass is absolutely the best. And it's very important that you train without shoes. Socks, no shoes, or if you have to have shoes, make sure they're flat-soled shoes. If you have cushiony shoes, this is gonna take away from the message that your body receives from the ground. We want to know exactly what the ground is doing, where it is, and where we are in relation to it. We also don't want to wear gloves because it will do the same thing with your hands and the kettlebells. So no gloves, no wristwatch, and flat-soled shoes, if any shoes at all, but preferably barefoot. Know this, at some point, you will drop the kettlebell. Everybody does at some point or another. When that happens, do not extend yourself trying to reach for it. That could be very dangerous. It could pull you out of position and could injure you. Also, don't contest for space with a kettlebell. It's going to go straight down. Push it out of the way if you can and go the other way. Remember, quick feet or happy feet. Move yourself, move your feet out of the way, let the kettlebell fall. Also, when you're holding a kettlebell, never lean back. It's very bad for your spine. Also, your wrist must be perfectly straight. You don't want to hyperextend your wrist. You want a straight wrist and a tight, tight grip on the kettlebell. That's the safest way to work with a kettlebell. Kettlebell training, like martial arts training and any other exercise program, is best learned by a personal trainer, a certified trainer, so look for one. Also, check with your physician to make sure that you're healthy enough for this type of training.